What was important in 2014 was to succeed on the preparation and the construction of the slab of the Tokamak complex. This has been achieved in August 2014. Another challenge in 2014 was to complete the design of most of the building, but also the execution drawing of the Tokamak complex. In 2015, we will continue the construction work of the Tokamak, but we will also start the foundation of several surrounding buildings around the Tokamak complex. Cleaning facility, services building, assembly building, but also the erection of the wall. Vinci Ferroviaire Razel has started the construction work of the wall of the Tokamak complex by the diagnostic building. But we will soon start working on the Tokamak building itself and then on the Tritium building. The idea is to be able to build every two or three months a level of this Tokamak complex. For me the main challenge this year will be to ensure that the, the B2 walls are completed and this will include the, the central part of the Tokamak complex which is the, the Bioshield wall which will contain some of the first very large uh, and heavy embedments that need to be cast in. At the first part of this year there is a mock-up being built to, to replicate the upper section of this Bioshield wall. Uh, and the purpose of the mock-up really is to prove the feasibility of, of constructing the, the design and also to, to see if we can identify ways to improve the construction process when we come to do the, the rail buying I'm Romaric Darbour, I'm the deputy project manager for buildings. 2015 is for us the year of construction. After a long and complex design process, we have finally succeeded to have a design approved for the first floors of the Tokamak complex. We have a total of seven, uh, seven levels in this, uh, in this complex. Our civil works contractor, VFR, is currently building the first floor of this uh, complex. And our major target for this year is to be able to start the second floor construction by summer 2015. Next to the Tokamak complex, we have uh, one of uh, our uh, major buildings, which is the assembly building. This building is critical because it is in this building that the Tokamak machine sectors will be assembled before being transported to the Tokamak complex. What we see on the, on the assembly hall is the beginning of the erection of the column of this building. This building is a huge building, it's a building of uh, 100 meters long, 6 meters wide, 6 meters high. We have 11 columns per side, uh, 22 columns. We have 5 levels of columns, so it's around 220 elements which have to be installed. And the main target is to leave the roof next summer in order to allow TB02, which have to install the crane beam inside the building in November next year. For the assembly building, B13, Engage will, will continue to monitor the activities of VFR as they uh, continue to erect the steelwork on this building and they will also uh, review and approve the construction and execution design documentation that, that VFR put forward in response to the Engage construction design. One of the key buildings uh, for this year will be building B61, the, the site services building. In 2015, the construction of 10 uh, new buildings will start on the ITER platform. Mainly the cryo plant building construction will start, the magnet power conversion buildings, the cleaning facility and the radio frequency uh, heating building, but also the control building and the cooling towers and their uh, associated equipment. All this set of buildings will be started this year. In 2015, the main challenges will be to continue the construction. We will increase the number of workers on site and we will work of course on the Tokamak complex, but also on all the surrounding buildings. 